purpose of this meeting, gang, is to decide what to do today. Bobo, we're having a meeting. I'm beginning to wish I'd never invented that game for your brother, Molly. He spends more time in virtual reality than in real reality these days. Woohoo! Ivor, we play a game. Game, right. Where's our games list? Game one, snakes and ladders. Boring. Game two, buried treasure. More boring. We could always take Duster for a walk. He looks pretty bored. Duster, stop throwing Phobos toys out the window. Ah, what about throw the teddy? We can't play that. Phobos in his teddy. Whee! Pow! Phobo! You should have seen that. I just hunted down 12 intergalactic hypercruisers and blasted them into a different universe. Pow! Phobo, we're trying to decide what we're all going to do today. Have you got any ideas? Yes. One of us could be an evil alien from the 8th dimension come to destroy the planet. The others could track him down. Uh, yes! Who's going to be the evil alien? Because I'm not. I'm not very good at hiding. Don't worry, Gavin. I know the ideal person. <laughs> We all have to count to a hundred so that Duster has time to get away. <laughs> Duster, come over here. Now, all you have to do is go away and hide while we count to a hundred. Then we try to find you. And you try not to get caught for as long as possible. See? Go on, off you go. Go on, Duster. I don't think he understands. Duster, go! Go! <laughs> there you are. He's more intelligent than we realise. Now we have to count to a hundred and we should cover our eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred! Oh, Duster! More intelligent than we realise. This is your fault, Phobo. He's your, your thing, whatever he is. You should train him better. He's not my thing. I just look after him. He can't help it if he doesn't understand the game. Whose silly idea was this anyway? Yours! I didn't notice you suggesting anything. Stop arguing, you two. Perhaps we should try another game. Or choose someone else to go and hide. But not me. I'm getting bored with this. I could be blasting intergalactic hypercruisers, you know. You could also be the evil alien, then Duster might get the idea from watching what you do. A sort of training by example. Now where's he going? He's got it! Look! I knew he could do it! Do you think he knows what he's doing? Of course he does! Come on then, cover your eyes and start counting. One, two, three, four, five... Up and look for Duster in pairs. Coral and me will go this way, Phobo and Gavin that way. Right, come on, Gavin, I'll be leader. I thought you might. <laughs> We're going in circles. I'm sure we've passed those rocks before. Well, all rocks look the same, don't they? 
and I recognise those flowers. So what do you think? I think we're lost. I agree. Look at this, it's wool. It's probably a wool plant. No, look, it leads this way. Let's follow it. Hmm, funny wool plant. It's not a wool plant. Come on. You see, the thing with Duster is that he often doesn't understand what we say. But I think he's actually much cleverer than you lot think. Anyway, we haven't found him yet, have we? So he must be pretty clever. Getting cooler, isn't it? Personally, I don't think we could ask for a better mascot for the gang. I mean, he's very loyal and everything, and... Oh, why have we stopped? Because we're lost. We're going down. I don't like it. <laughs> Where are we? In the dark. What should we do? Go back up. How? Did you hear something? When? Just then. Only you. No, something else. <coughs> Duster! You knew each other then. Hello, I'm Gavin and this I'm is... I'm Phobo. We're on a Duster hunt. And this is Duster, so we've won. I see. Well, my name is Miranda. I am a scientist and this is my laboratory. Do you live here? Indeed, yes. Gosh. Perhaps you'd like me to show you around. Yes, please. Wow! This is better than our den. Hmm, and much tidier. We get so busy at wool harvesting time, and dust has been such a help. Ah! <coughs> More visitors. How lovely. These are our friends, Molly and Coral. This is Miranda. Hello. Hello. How did you find us? It wasn't difficult. My jumper! I thought I was cold. Don't worry, Gavin. Knitting is a hobby of mine. I'm sure we can repair it. What's this? Well, at wool harvesting time, Newt here gathers up the wool. We dye it, and I have enough to carry on knitting until the next harvest. Look at Duster! He's so good at sorting, isn't he, Newt? He learns very quickly. He does? Hey, look at that! That's absolutely the biggest telescope in the world! Well, it... Can I have a look through it? I bet you can see for millions of miles with it, can't you? Not exactly millions, but you're certainly welcome to look through it. Thanks. What do you actually do, Miranda? I mean, actually do? Lots of things, my dear. I study things, I invent things, and I look for reasons for things. Golly! A real scientist! Reasons for what sort of things? Well, like, uh, why do two and two make four? Because they do. Yes, but why? Is that what this is? No, that's something quite different which I shall be happy to explain to you the next time you come. You will promise to come and see me again, won't you? It's been so nice to have visitors. Oh, we will, won't we, gang? Yes! yes. And next time, I'll bring some of my inventions to show you. That would be lovely. But before you go, you must let me knit something for all of you. I'll start with your jumper, young Gavin. Well, what a day. We found Duster, and I've got a lovely re-knitted jumper. I'm not sure about the presents she knitted for us, though. I think they're very nice. A bit big, maybe. Duster's present's the best, though. The big question now, gang, is what are we going to do tomorrow? 